Hello, hello, this is Jan on Sirius channel and welcome. Uh, I would like to show my my most favorite start, which prevents clogging up the borders. And this is few basic steps how to do it on realistic mode. So, well, let's show, you know, F, press F2, show these contour lines. And I want to build a city like here, so it's not directly at the border and it has access to more things. So, let's say we are going to build it here. So, this is the zone, this is where we are going to place our construction zone. And this is where we will put our border facilities. What are they? Pretty easy. First thing, first what you need is, you know, a gas station. Let's give her some road. So, it's well. so there's a queuing space in case it's needed. And then, maybe right next to it, not a big deal. Or maybe here in the corner, why not? Just put a distribu distribution office and... What is there? I know, I know your anchor. This is what we are going to purchase and it will go there. Once it will go there, because it needs some time, let's go into storages. And there are, you know, here are three storages that can store panels, prefabs, bricks. And we will need them. So, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Why not? Let's rename them, like, bricks, prefabs. steel and boards this is what we have we limit amount for the thing we want there the most so this is this is boards this will be this will be steel we can do it this way well not entirely this way okay prefabs and bricks Now, once we have this, we can also put another one, which is here in aggregates, and there are storages, st there is a free storage as well, and this one is for gravel, and there's no, there's absolutely no reason to not use it. So, this one is only for gravel, so we name it that way. And now, now you have it there. This is our distribution office, so let's tell it to load fuel and bring it here. Then we we build another gas station here. Again, some space is good to have, so let's add it to the list. One oil tanker is definitely enough for these two, and then we are then we are going to do. Some more. Oh, well, what? At first, some road depot. This is needed for when you are buying anything from Customs House. You cannot send it on a line from Customs House. You need a road depot. So, we have it here. And then we will need some construction offices. And of course, we are going to build the free ones first. I'll put, what do you need? I will put a few of those here, and I don't know if you will need them, but you can have only seven. For the staff, well, this is not what I wanted. No money spent. We need these. And now, what are we going to do? We will definitely buy well, I strongly recommend using another distribution office so you have, you know, you have an order in it. So, it will be this one and we are buying what? We will have open hull, two big star, definitely needed, and, you know, 
maybe two gravel ones. And I will put it here with the sister. My, maybe not. Maybe I will put one here. One will be enough for now. So a dumper. Yes, be this one for 25 tons. We will tell, tell them to load here. And once they are finished, we will tell them more things to do. What we need here, this one will, in this here, we will definitely need, how oh, it's called, a bulldozer, maybe two, and an excavator. Let's give two, they are definitely worth the, worth the investment. In the other one, we will need some open, open house as well, like maybe at least maybe two of them or oh, three nah. maybe maybe we can we can have it slightly different i'll i will put i will put one one, one more here so you will see it afterwards and this one And once this is all, once this is started, yes, you can see, okay, they will load gravel, they will load bricks, prefab, steel, maybe not steel, but boards. And let's add them. Because they will unload gravel and let's make it 80% full, not a big deal. Gravel. This is bricks, so bricks. This one is prefabs, so unload prefabs. This one is boards, so unload boards. And I will keep the steel, the steel free. As you can see, we are using a lot of, a lot of stuff here. I will move one of these to the second, to the second customs, and to the second construction office. And I will move one of these here. You can see if you will click, it will it will show right here. We are not picking asphalt, we are not picking concrete, and we are not picking things for a covered house, and we are not picking workers, obviously. So let's change it. Let's do something about it. This we can definitely copy. Or, well, let's do it. Asphalt will, for now, be picked up at the border. Concrete as well. Mechanical and electri electronic components as well. Well, workers probably do, but we won't have workers in these ones. So, now, you cannot find a garage. But, okay, well, let's do it. And for all of these, we are so we are selecting the same list. This is what this icon is for. So what we what are what are we needing? We need covered house. We need covered house, and we don't we do not need big ones because you hardly need electronic components in such quantity. So definitely these two two of these are enough. So those are covered house and we might add them some more. So yes, two concrete mixers are definitely enough. And now what is it? Well, and we will use dumpers. And I will put two dumpers here. And what's more important, I will say them to load gravel here now the funny part you can use you know this construction assign tool you can put it in your hotkeys i have it on my floor but you can go over here as well and let's go these two are the border border ones you know you can ah we have to turn the game on let's go here Covered houses here are 
Oh, not this. This one. Bumpers. I will switch off auto search from all of these. That's what you need to do if you do not want them to auto search. And there's a lot of reasons not to have them auto search things. Yeah, that's it. Now there will be one more construction office. Maybe, maybe here in the here in the corner. And that will be that will be only for workers. It will not have auto search on. And this one will have a road crane, so it's gonna move, move on itself. And a bus, two buses, like maybe even these are enough, these small ones. Because the huge ones are usually not needed. When you have workshop items created, I like the Nisa, Nisa buses that are, you know, for 10 passengers. But you can definitely go with two or three of these. You really do not need the big ones. As you can see, I'm using the modded customs house. But this works. And it and is more important with you know the standard ones. I'm also using this side connection, so this is the place for a proper highway afterwards. Well, and that's it. You can now see that here are brakes delivered. Here will here here is going for the gravel, and these these places, this construction yard is ready. Besides one thing and that's the last piece i will show it will be to buy a, what is it i don't flood bed open out yeah that, that, that's the work and you will and i will do one thing i will send it I will send it to the western border, which on this map is somewhere here. I am willing even to build a bridge. This is not a fancy route and it definitely won't stay here forever. This is just for the transport. Yeah, we want to want to hit here, hit there. The cheapest bridge possible is the wooden one. Yep. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's only 30 km per hour, but whatever. Let's plan it. You can always, you know, dismantle it afterwards. There's absolutely no reason to keep it for the rest of the game. Where is that border? Yeah. It's really far away. But you can build it. And it's built. Well. Now we will assign. I will call the menu. Call the menu. So the first group is the border guys. The second group will be all of these. That are building things from here. And the third group will be people. That's the way. I, that's the way. That's the way I do it. And well, now we are going to call both groups because we will need the cement as well. We will call them to build that bridge. So they should start going. Yes, they don't have boards. As they don't have boards yet. So that's not such a. It's not that big of a deal. And you can definitely, uh, in parallel, start building, you know, such something like a better highway. Because you should have... Should have excavators for it. But I won't do that now. But, yes, you will see it. At and you will at least grab all it, like, yeah, so it, it's working and looking nice. And you can keep them, you know, busy with it. 
while they are still driving on the mud road. But the last thing I wanted to do is, yeah, you put a gas station. Maybe here is not enough. I would place it somewhere here. Somewhere behind the bridge. On on maps that are not not with a river, it's easier. You just place it midway. You you call your cistern, and you say hey about that. And this truck that is sitting here, you will just send to buy to buy some steel, and you can do it all while post while while post or while they are supplying this thing and you start planning your city this setup is really really good for the start and yes if once you are once you will build your gravel industry like you know here here there's a place for it definitely so you'll start making your own concrete and asphalt they are not that expensive and they will save you a lot of money afterwards and if you are importing steel from the from the NATO side you have another seven seven hundred thousand to work with there's nothing better so enjoy that's it and goodbye